If we're not used to dealing with disabled people, it can be hard to know how to behave when we meet someone with a disability. We might feel awkward or embarrassed, and worrying about saying or doing the wrong thing can sometimes make things worse. Can you help me, please? Yes, uh, what can I do for you? I bought this shower head here last week. Uh, can I change it? I don't see... People always ask me where my donkey is. Where's your donkey? They stop me in the street and ask me where my donkey is. I mean, it's bizarre. You've got to give it a good thumb. It gets stuck. That person telling me what's been said, I'm like, I'm sorry, but can you speak more clearly? It's like I got really, really frustrated. And then I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask somebody else, but no, I think. Often, it's a case of rethinking our attitudes to disability and challenging our perceptions. There's this kind of sweet element that they think that I'm sweet or that I'm cute or I'm cuddly. And I don't mean cute or sexy, it's kind of cute, lovely. Um, and there's that element, which is very frustrating. It's, it's, it's someone who treats a 35-year-old male when he comes in and is very formal with them. But when I come in, it's, oh, hello, dear, how are you? And I'm the same as this person next, except for my height. Disability doesn't equal dependence. There are over 11 million disabled adults in the UK, the vast majority of whom live independently in their own homes. Disability doesn't just affect a small minority of people. One in three people in the UK is either disabled or close to someone who is. Most disabled people aren't born with a disability. The majority develop their disability in the course of their adult life. Disability could affect you. With people now living longer, there's now a one in two chance that we'll be disabled by the end of our lives. In this video, we're going to look at the key skills we need to be confident and relaxed when dealing with disabled clients, customers or colleagues. Communicating and dealing with disabled people isn't just about not offending them or being nice. It's about being aware of how their disability might require you to do or say things differently. So, and you've, you found us all right? No problems. Excellent, well done. Um, how did you come in? A train? Bus? I drove, actually. Oh, well done. Uh, you have your car modified so you can drive it? Yes, I had it especially shrunk to fit.